I already told you the how to hold the liver in anatomical position and the second one what are the supporting factors of the liver. Next question usually asks what are the surfaces and borders of the liver. Then what are the ligaments, what are the fissures. So, how, so many questions may be asked. And uh, now I am telling you what are the surfaces and borders for presentation. You see there are three liver are kept here. I am taking one of them. It is a small one. It is also a larger one. It is also a larger one adult liver. I am taking this one. And you know this is the anatomical position of the liver. Then what are the surfaces and borders? Of the borders, this border is very prominent. You see this is the border which separates this surface from this surface. You know this surface is the anterior surface and this surface is inferior surface and this surface is right lateral surface. So, this right lateral surface, anterior surface, they are separated from the inferior surface by this sharp inferior border. So, this is one of the borders. And along this border, there is a notch here. Another borders are posteriorly two borders. One postero superior border, one is postero inferior border. Which one is postero superior border? This is the bare area of the liver on the posterior surface having one layer of ligament above, one below. So, you trace the upper layer of the ligament which is the superior layer of coronary ligament and this line passes along the upper border of the group for inferior vena cava. This is the group for inferior vena cava, this one. So, this line is passing along the upper border of the group for inferior vena cava, then upper border of the caudate lobe and then to the upper border of the left lobe of the liver. So, this is the posterior superior border and inferiorly there is another border called posterior inferior border, this one. Along the inferior layer of the coronary ligament, then lower margin of the group for inferior vena cava, then lower margin of the caudate lobe, then this line along the left, of the, or left lobe of the liver. This is the upper border of the left lobe of the liver of the left triangular ligament. So, this is the posterior inferior. So, there are two posterior border. One posterior superior border which separates this posterior surface from the superior surface and posterior inferior border which this one posterior inferior border which separates the posterior surface from the inferior surface. So, three borders we got inferior border and two posterior border of the two posterior border one is posterior superior one is posterior inferior. But how many surfaces are there? You know on the upper surface of the liver or anterior surface of the liver there is the diaphragm which separates the abdominal organs from the thoracic organs. If I imagine this is a diaphragm and if I keep this diaphragm like this that means this diaphragm it covers the anterior surface, it covers the superior surface, it covers the right lateral surface and it covers partly the posterior surface but it does not cover the inferior surface. So, is a, so all the surfaces anterior, superior, right lateral and posterior all the surfaces are covered by the diaphragm. So, these surfaces are called the diaphragmatic surface. But the inferior surface, this one, they are related to different viscera, stomach, kidney, duodenum, colon. So, so many viscera are related to this inferior surface. So, inferior surface also called the visceral surface. So, broadly speaking, liver is having two main surfaces, diaphragmatic surface, which is having again four parts, anterior surface, superior surface right lateral surface and posterior surface and another surface is the visceral surface which is also known as the inferior surface. So, all together there are five surfaces and three borders. So, this is all about borders and surfaces.